I, uh, I started uh, 17 years ago now. I started with Riedel back starting to educate people about wine and glasses and the marriage between the two, which ultimately just uh, led me on to where I am today. So Riedel is a 10th generation family business. The wine glass affects the, the taste of wine both in smell and taste quite dramatically and we learnt that consumers buy based on varieties, they don't buy based on, on red wine or white wine, uh, they buy because it's a Shiraz or it's a Cabernet. And, uh, we learned that these grape varieties is of course unique to each other, therefore we were able to work with producers and manufacturers from around the world to shape glasses suited to the individual grape variety. And the fun part of this is, like a glass of wine or a bottle of wine, is all in the tasting. So the more you experience, the more you realise and understand. And we of course encourage anyone to put the same wine in two glasses. And it could be any two different glasses and, and smell them, taste them, and you'll see a very distinct difference. Obviously the easiest way to, to learn about how glasses work is, is to experience it, is to try it. So we have here a bottle of the Robert Oatley uh, Riesling 2012. This is a wine which comes from the Great Southern. And I'm gonna put this in the Riesling glass. I'm gonna put this in the Chardonnay glass and our more traditional shaped wine glass. So here we have it paired and matched perfectly in with the Riesling. Beautiful expression of fruit on the nose, lovely fresh lime and lemon, which is of course what uh, young Riesling is all about. When we look at a Chardonnay glass, when we see the wine here, what we lose is that focus of that freshness and the vibrancy of what Riesling is. If we try the, uh, the more traditional shaped wine glass, yeah, you'll find here the aroma completely is dissipated. Very interesting because we have three different characters of the one wine, but of course always good to, to taste. So just to get a bit of an idea, sweetness comes right up front, beautiful acidity, what you're looking for here, of course, is that fruit character balanced out with the, the acidity. I'm going to try it now in a glass which is designed for uh, a much bigger, bolder uh, style of wine, being Chardonnay. Like a very tart green apple acidity. That's what comes forward here in this glass and lacking in the fruit. If I was to try this out of our more standard glass, very broad onto the palate to the point where really you think that you're drinking certainly a wine that is full of acidity but lacking in, in varietal distinction here. So just an interesting little experience. Of course, again, you can try this with any three glasses, this works, but of course, always to work with the, the right glass, the one which the winemakers designed for the individual grape variety is going to be the, the best way to start. So the most common question I would be asked is which glasses are suitable and how many glasses do I need? So it's really about choosing the, the glass based around the, the grape variety. If Shiraz is your most preferred grape variety and the grape variety you love, then, then here is the only glass which you need. Think about the variety and then you will learn which is going to be your most preferred glass. So the most common uh, question which I would be asked is how to care for your glassware. Um, the first thing I would say to you is that our glasses are dishwasher safe, they're not human safe. The fact is if you're not using a machine these days you are running the risk of damaging your glasses. Uh, there's a lot of um, elements to the machine which uh, ensure that they protect your glasses from the start to finish of the process. And I'll just run through some of these with you to make sure that your glasses come out pristine and clean every time. There's a couple of little things you need to know. First thing is you need a modern machine. Modern machines are built in a way that you can actually alter and change the basket height here. As you'll see my glasses are just nicely lined up on the side. Just out of interest, this glass is 17 years old, so this glass has been regularly through this machine and previous machines. A couple of other little things. This little finish protector here is probably one of the most important little tools which you can use and it protects your glasses, it'll actually also protect your plates and what it does is it helps protect the surface structure so that you don't get any clouding and in turn your glass after 17 years will look like this. The other important little point to know about uh, about your machine. The benefit of using a, a rinse aid, a product like Finish Rinse Aid here is after the, the cycle finishes, your glasses will come out dry. You have this beautiful brilliance and shine. So literally it's just a couple of little things to understand and I would say anyone who doesn't use a machine is probably going to run the risk of damaging your glasses. If you use your machine, then you too can have glasses which will last for 17 years. In fact, your glasses will probably outlast you.